I'm Melina Rice and I'm 15 years old. I was diagnosed with Skiffy, which is a condition where as your hip is growing up, the hip bone like falls off, so basically my hip became unattached from each other. Melina was in the fifth grade and we received a phone call from the school nurse that she had had an extreme amount of pain when standing up from her lunch table at school. We drove immediately to Connecticut Children's. Dr. Lee explained that they were going to go in and make the, the cut in the bone to reattach the hip with the femur and concentrating heavily on that growth plate and these tissue to keep the tissue for, for surviving for so long because there would be plates and, and um, screws put in. She was in surgery from about 9 p.m. to 3 in the morning. It was a six hour surgery with both doctors. Dr. Lee also informed us it was a very rare surgery and there was only one hospital in the state of Connecticut that did it and thankfully we were there at Connecticut Children's. When I woke up they told me that they actually had to pin both of my hips back in place but although it happened to my left hip, they needed to do the right hip just to be sure that it would never happen in the future. Shortly after the surgery, I was immediately in a wheelchair and had to stay at the hospital for almost a week. But the next day after surgery, the next morning, they had me get up and do physical therapy already and learn to walk again. The doctor had shared a lot with us, and he also had told us if we hadn't had immediate care within 10 hours, her main artery goes through that area, she could have ended up with an amputated leg. So we were very fortunate that things happened very quickly. I want other kids to know that even if you're put in a hard situation, like you can always overcome it and to just believe and like have faith. Everybody at Connecticut Children's was really sympathetic and kind and caring towards me. And that was really motivating and helped me to get to where I am today. Thank you, Connecticut Children's.